Snakes often venture onto people's properties for a few reasons. Number one, it's warm, and number two, households often attract rats and mice. And for a snake, instead of fighting for survival in the wild, they would rather go into someone's house where it's a buffet for rats and rodents. But having a snake on your property can be very scary, which is exactly why people call me to come and catch these snakes and relocate them back into the wild. Yeah, perfect. Just under those stones. Okay, thank you. So what do you do with these things? Man? I eat them. What? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, cool. Okay, bumps. You can see there. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There you go. <laughs> you guys hungry? <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> So the people oh, yeah. up the road, they said they saw the exact same snake. So uh, where is this coming from? Once the snake is successfully being captured, it is now time for the relocation part. And for this, it's time to take him back into the wild. But the trick is to not take them too far away from their original habitat, as they are not adapted to all kinds of terrains like people would think they are. So finding the best spot for them is very important. All right, so, We've got the beautiful Cape Cobra right here. This is Naja Nevea, Africa's most venomous cobra, which is quite interesting. And uh, they often venture onto the houses out here because in people's houses, especially if they keep it messy, it attracts rats and stuff. So we're gonna be very careful, very gentle because they have a neurotoxic venom, which will shut down my body very quickly, paralyzing me, my lungs and everything else. Which is not very funny. You can see it's quite a beautiful snake. He's very shy. You can see even of Jenna who's holding the camera right there. He's very cautious of her. You can see he's even reversing a bit. He's like, no, I don't want to be around you. And this just goes to show that this little cobra doesn't actually want to hurt anyone. And it's quite a beautiful snake. Look at those specklings and those colors there. Absolutely stunning. What a magnificent species. Definitely by far one of my favorites. But we're literally going to pop him right here. And we're going to let him go. It's just like that. No, 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 no need to reverse. No, he's, he's in full on reverse mode. Once he feels I'm safe, he'll maybe go on. But no, he's in full on reverse mode. Look at that. How unique. Hi, big guy. So he spots me. Look at like that. He's like, no, I don't want to go there. It's too scary. What an amazing snake. Hey. He's so stunning. Look at that color. So cool. Cape Cobras come in lots of different colors. They come in yellows, blacks, browns, speckled, non-speckled. Some of them are lighter, some of them are darker. Lots of different colors. And this one's quite young. Not very, very large yet. And I think he's found himself a nice little hole there. Or not. He's testing out. Cape Cobras like to spend a lot of time in burrows. Look at that. Hopefully this is actually a good one for him. Is it a good one? He's like, nah, not too good. <laughs> Quite a beautiful snake, hey, look at that. Hi, big guy. Let's, uh, let's put you up here. There you go. And as long as I'm gentle, he's not gonna wanna go crazy and hood and strike at me. And that's what I want. So he's hit a bit of a spot here. He's like, he can't find anywhere to hide. So he's trying to coil under himself. Poor little guy. I know. I know. Let me take you to a better spot here. There's larger bushes. And out here, you'll find nice holes and all sorts of cool things like that. 
just gonna hold him like this see as I am nice and gentle look at that hood coming out there that's that hood look how insane that is <laughs> what a cool animal hi big guy are you ready to go free there's nice thick bush here they actually quite like thick bushes because they can bury into it that's why I quite enjoy these succulents here and I can hold on to him like this and there he goes he's underneath and he's safe you never even think there's a snake there in the first place <laughs> that's fantastic I'm so happy about that